actually make sure. Here check. we go. Check, check. I don't, are you even looking at anything? Or are you just turning knobs? I was I just turning them all back to five. He's oh, okay. trying to look sophisticated here. Frodo Baggins. All right, welcome to Staff Chat. Uh, we're all wearing uh, matching shirts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ask me about my Incrustable. Okay, I do have to point out, one of us is not like the others. And there is one very, very small, subtle difference on somebody's shirt. Oh, what? And I don't know if anybody other than myself and Alex would pick up on it. I, I pointed it out to Alex. I haven't looked at it enough. I know exactly what it is, and it makes me giggle. I feel like it has to be me. I did, well, is it the the font on the bottom? Nope. Nope. It's a fun game. You should play along. Oh, dear. It's so subtle. Like... Is it something missing? We put itching or creams in extra. Cameron's. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. That's exactly it. That's so it's it going is. to bother everybody the whole time. Well, I'm not going to sit here and stare at my shirt. Yeah. So yeah. So it's hard. I might. It's hard to do while you're wearing the shirt because you have to compare your shirt to other people's well, whose because shirt is it might be whose shirt is messed up. I'm not going to tell you. Oh, you That's what makes it fine. more fun. We have derailed already. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So welcome to Staff Chat. Uh, this well, is how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so you can uh, find this on YouTube if you're watching it currently. Um, you can find all the past episodes. You can also... Cameron is not... <laughs> Cameron's not okay. Yeah. Um, he, he's gone. I'm going to figure this out. You also uh, can listen to us on Apple Podcasts. Um, just search Cross Church Staff Chat. You should be able to find it. Um, and it's posted er- all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to bother him. Oh, you I thought I had it for a second. I've too. been waiting for this day John's, for weeks. John's ruined the episode is what happened. Uh. <laughs> oh, Alex, when you're watching online later, since you know what it is, you'll be laughing as well. So, is that, would, what? okay, hold on first. <laughs> Did this happen by mistake? It was completely a mistake. Okay, so it's not something like you physically changed the design. No, 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 no. It was completely mistake. So something got messed up in the transfer. Sure. Okay. That was it. That was the answer that came in on by phone. Oh. Everyone's checking their phones now. <laughs> yeah. Just makes your minds are in silent. That was yeah. John. It was definitely me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I would assume it's not John Shirt because he wouldn't have given himself the messed up. By on. the way, that is not salmon. That is like lavender. I that will is, say this was not <laughs> intended to be my shirt. This was intended to be is, Eric's shirt. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I can think of is is how much lower yours is, but that's about it. Yours so, is like substantially lower than that was done by Alex. Alex, Alex actually, Alex yeah, like did mine these feels three, higher than yours, and then I did yours. So I like I felt like it was really low too. So when I did yours, like I moved it yeah, up, which is where it's supposed so, to be. Yeah, like that's correct. Is this same? Fine. No. <laughs> yeah, yours. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to do this. The yeah, whole time, me yeah. too. We're going to sit like Yeah. All right. Let's uh, pull a question. <laughs> well, hold on. I got to talk about going? the pitch. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. So, my kids uh, really love this show, which I don't know why. It's kind of silly. But Did Hannah listen? I would not let her listen last week because I felt really bad. I thought she was going to be super embarrassed. <laughs> and Gretchen turned it on. And I was like, no, <laughs> turn it off. It was like, it's like, you know she's she going to watch right it there. now. Yeah. <laughs> They're at home watching like VBS stuff today too. So they may <laughs> watch it. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> My phone's going to ring shortly. It's going to be Hannah. I'm like, how could you? Um, <laughs> by the way, I was shouting at my television, Kevin Smith, about like five times around. I'm like, yeah. Kevin Smith, yeah. Kevin Smith. And then we got ironically, it, I told these guys yesterday, the warlock in Live Free or Die Hard that you brought up later <laughs> is, is Kevin, Kevin Smith. Smith. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's, that's the way true. it all comes back around. It was yep. wonderful. That's hilarious. <laughs> yep. We got it eventually. It just took us mm-hmm. a long yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how we work. We got to come back around to it. And then I was like, Justin Long can be explained by, oh, dude that got hit in the face with a wrench and dodgeball. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. That's, yeah. That's, I'm, I'm sorry I did not throw out that movie reference. I'll yeah. try harder next time. But I really did love for a moment knowing somebody from a movie that you guys yeah. didn't know. Like yeah. it made me feel yeah. very superior. So really nice, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, my kids also watch Dude Perfect um, all the time. They're overcharged or whatever it is. I don't know. Overtime. 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 Yeah. Uh, so they do on Dude Perfect Overtime the Wheel Unfortunate. Oh no. Uh, and our my children think that Staff Chat needs a Wheel Unfortunate. 
<laughs> uh, and we don't need a Ned Flanders or anything, uh, oh, okay. but a wheel, unfortunate. I could probably uh, with, do it. with things that make sense. Hey, everyone, for... this is Ned Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have the fro, too, though. Yeah. Like, could we get your hair in a fro? Could we do that? Absolutely. Have you ever had a perm? Okay, that's going on the wheel, unfortunate. Get a, a perm? perm. I've yep. wanted to. Oh, yeah, it's man. going on the wheel, unfortunate. And we can't put on there own a cat. Like, if you've ever watched it, there's own a cat on there, and nobody wants it to land on own a cat because you all have cats. <laughs> yeah. I was like, like the yeah. only one that yeah. would be bad for, for would be you. me. <laughs> yeah. so. I, I think with us, it'd be get another cat, and yeah. then you'd be like, uh, yeah, I don't know about I don't that. know if I want another so, one. So yeah. I told, I I told my yeah. kids I would pitch the idea to you about wheel, unfortunate. Okay. Um, mm. And it has to be in the context of cross church staff chat. We could do it like how we had the that little computer program where we picked yes. out the restaurants. Boxes. Yeah, the boxes. Yeah, yeah, we could do it that uh, way. Oh, yeah. Boxes from yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. that'd be from sweet. The sidekick. Yeah, we. Maybe. They also have just a wheel, and you can like preload all the stuff on it. Yeah. Shout out to Jimmy Hammond for that one. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. There was a point in time where we couldn't decide where to eat, so we would just. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I need to look but at that. It needs updated. They're old. Yeah, they're old. <laughs> a lot of them don't exist anymore. But we also sure got to the point where enough. we just clicked the button again if we weren't happy yeah. with the okay. decision. You can't, you can't do that either. That's, that's, We're like, all right, no. So. no. Well, okay. are we talking like, I mean, because some of the things they have on that wheel are... Okay. Like so shave we don't have, off an eyebrow. Yeah, there are some things that obviously oh, we're gosh, not going do to it. do. Um, but like... Okay, they have like an unlimited budget too. So some yeah. of those things, like they have the budget to do it, which we don't. So we just have to make up our own unfortunate things to put on there, mm-hmm. um, like random bean boozle. Ooh, Ooh. yeah, things Nasty. like that. Like, I have a jar of bean boozled in my office. Should we do that now? Like no, start <laughs> start the episode. <laughs> I will I will vomit. <laughs> Camera start the episode with uncrustable and a uh, cheese stick in your armpits and uh, eat them at the end. Ugh. The Uncrustable would be perfect. The that cheese stick would be, be gross. Yeah. You, uh, they would both be gross. Cheese stick has I to be, it's it. like an eight minute window. You know, like you, you, you cook it for eight minutes. I had a cheese stick at my house. I was going to bring it and pull it out and give it to Cameron. <laughs> Pocket cheese stick. <laughs> eight minutes. I mean, Pockets better time. than where Cameron stores them. So I'm just going to throw that out there. <laughs> I said Pocket. You know, that's a pocket. When I that's when I pocket. threw it out there the first time, I said, you know, you, you put a cheese stick in your pocket and you forget about it. <laughs> this is how we figured it out. You forget about it and you're like, oh, I have a cheese stick, and then you eat it. I still don't get it. Why would you put a cheese stick in your pocket? It's like finding, you know, like when you put your winter coat up and then you get yeah. it out for the first time, uh-huh. and that twenty dollar bill is in there, uh-huh. and you're like, yes, a twenty dollar. <laughs> but the are same you thing. ever like, yes, yeah, a twenty dollar bill? I'm gonna eat that. No, because you don't eat money, and it's all moldy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Am I going first with the yeah, question? Yeah, by the sure. way? Is that, so, I guess so. Is this has gone too far. Yeah. yeah. I can't it. top Nate's little little thing. There. Yeah, his wizard. I'm just going to go for it. Regular, regular play here. Oh, boy. Thick boy. <laughs> Thick boy. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> for this? Okay, literally, it there's, just says, there's seven what words. is your favorite smell <laughs> on this big <laughs> thing? Hey, who wow. cuts? Who whoever, cuts whoever these? Cuts these. Me. <laughs> it's like that guy that gets a little wild with the pizza cutter. At the <laughs> you get like a See, slice. It's like, yeah. Yeah. I, hate, I hate that. For every giant slice, there's a tiny slice. Yeah. <laughs> like just cut them all the same. Sorry. Dude, I gotta go with like um, I know mine. Uh, sure. Chocolate chip cookies in the oven. Oh, oh, that's, that's, just, that's a man. good smell. Yeah. That's so good. I'll go last. It better not be a cheese stick. <laughs> no. A warm cheese stick. No, uh, I just already know what John's going to say to me. <laughs> um, I can sense what is about to happen, so I'm just going to go last. We're just going to wait not, this out. I'm not going to say anything ever, <laughs> okay. just to spite you. Um, I would either say curry or garlic. Ooh, like I do love either garlic. Either of those two scents. Mm. Yeah. That's exactly the opposite of Teresa. She would yeah. run from a place that has any type of garlic. Oh, oh man. That's I sad. Tell you, I know, and I I'm know. from Benel because I'm like, I grew up, you know, I think my yeah. crib was made out of garlic. So. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> there, there was a restaurant in Japan. Um, it was called Aaron Karen in Japanese, but it was the garlic house to anybody who spoke English. Mm. Um, and all of their dishes were like straight garlic. And they had a dish uh, that was baked whole garlic, and it, it came like in heaven. a cast iron skillet over a bed of sweet corn, and then it was two entire heads of garlic. 
that they just baked until the garlic was like Mush. goo. Yeah. Just and so you just stick your, your chopsticks into the head of garlic and you pull out this goo. It's so stinking that good. That sounds disgusting. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, no. Like, I like garlic, but I don't like Oh, it. it's so good. <laughs> so, a good roasted yeah. garlic, dude, yeah. it, it kind of gets mushy mm. already, so yep. I, can, I bet that's awesome. Yeah, I think, it's amazing. I think about Eric's obsession with garlic, like, you know, when you go to Olive Garden and they start putting the Parmesan yes. on, yeah. and you, like, don't say stop. <laughs> like, <laughs> Eric's like, no, 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 just keep going. More. Just keep Most mincing keep that garlic. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Did I tell you to stop? <laughs> right. If you don't know, Benelled is, like, a large Italian population. I did not know and that. And so it's like garlic. Yeah, <laughs> like it is Benelde garlic. is the garlic dishes. center of the world. So I it's drive amazing. through Benelde at least twice a week. So where should I eat there then? Uh, that has amazing I garlic. I don't know if anybody like pours a bunch of you'd have to get like a home cooked meal from yeah, Benel. Okay. so i'm just going to stop at someone's house and be yeah like, Make or, me <laughs> or when dish. italian american days is a thing again yeah, yeah. um no, i i haven't had the spaghetti in a couple of years but it was garlicky the last time that you know that i was over there yeah. mm. i'm gonna check it out um but oh gosh mm. i did that thing where you're, you're gonna say something you forgot and told you what you're gonna say right in the middle of it. we <laughs> talked about that yeah good job i'm gonna do this so i'm gonna do the fake out i'm gonna do the fake out and then throw it without oh, the no look Oh, yeah. Man. No, that was horrible. <laughs> yeah. Rim. <laughs> oh, that was horrible. Rim. Yeah, rim. yeah, I... Mulligan. Uh, any any <laughs> baked double. goods, probably, for me. I mean, yeah. I like the smell of fresh pizza, too. Mm. Somebody well, had to go with pizza. Usually, my favorite smell is, like, the surprise smell. You know, like, when you... You're, like, getting out of your car at Walmart, and you smell that fried chicken, you're like, oh, gosh, that smells good. Like, you know, you know that kind of thing? Yeah. Like, where you're you're Does driving Walmart somewhere, and you like all of a sudden... Chicken? They do. I mean, they make bit. sometimes. I have not noticed. Well, bit. they have their vents mm-hmm. outside like for when the, they're yeah, cooking. When you're yeah. walking. Yeah. In, yeah. I've, so, like, I've you smelled. you know, you go to Litchfield and you're like driving by someplace and you're just like, oh, what is mm, that? Yeah. Like, I don't know what that is, but I really want it right now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the reason I got a smoker at my house mm-hmm. is because right outside our church in Collinsville was a little barbecue restaurant and he smoked all of his meat so you i'd come in in the morning at eight in the morning he'd be out there smoking meat and i walk up and i'm like oh that's amazing like i don't even know what he's cooking but it smells amazing yeah. so i got a smoker so i could do it myself yeah yeah i know what it is are you familiar with the dish uh the italian dish bagna calda no no because my mom makes this like every christmas i don't know why but it's awesome did you just make that up no i did not okay it is a, are you familiar it with is it? a dip that is butter garlic anchovies heavy whipped cream and anchovies yeah, yeah. and you dip either like uh leaves of cabbage or bread in it i mm. choose bread because i don't like cabbage but staff chat taste dude, <laughs> dude. yeah mom could whip up some yeah, like, banya yeah but it it's good fills the whole house oh, i mean I'm you sure. mainly get the garlic and yeah. you get a little hint of the the anchovy like fishy mm-hmm. flavor mm-hmm. but teresa's just like <laughs> nope. tortured the whole time yeah. Yeah. which is also why i you know, I accuse That's her why of being you a vampire. Yeah. Because <laughs> she doesn't age and she doesn't like garlic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. That's two of uh, like three. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just walk through the house. I haven't with like seen a her <laughs> <laughs> like with her teeth on someone's neck. Yeah. <laughs> vampires are usually pretty good at hiding it, though. Constantly so. yeah. trying to catch a reflection. Yeah. <laughs> Cooper's got mirrors everywhere. She's in pictures, though, so I don't know. Maybe she's half bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's a day walker. All right. Here we go. I'm waiting for it. My favorite smell. Cat pee. (laughs) (laughs) How'd you know? (laughs) What? I'm not going to take a drink because I feel like I'm going to have to spit this out. Ammonia in the cat pee is just my favorite thing in the world. (laughs) Uh, No, my favorite smell um, for sure is skunk, like skunk spray. You know, like when you're, you know, you know, like when you're, you know, when you're driving, I call my wife right now when you're driving and you smell a skunk. That's disgusting. Favorite smell. (laughs) You're lying. You're just, you just want me to come at you. I'm not lying. (laughs) You know what? Uh, Next question. (laughs) Next next step. That's going to be an intervention. Actually, I think, I I think I figured it out. It's the uh, smell of a smoke machine. It's one of my favorite smells. Oh, that's true. Yeah. You didn't say that the yeah. other day. Oh, man, Cameron's at home, know. like, because I was around him all going and buying Dude, some I skunk liked, weed and I getting liked, high with that, yeah. that marijuana. <laughs> smells like skunk. So I, I do go, oh, like I the smell of skunk. There's nothing wrong with that, man. My my there grandma. Is never mind. My I'm grandma done. owned. Nope. Why is it? Why is there <laughs> yeah, something yeah. wrong with that? What, what's your question? 
I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma like had a, a skunk. little tiny piece of paper and it's gonna have like <clears throat> full paragraph go yeah. if you inherited a single room off the grid cabin in the woods would you be excited or disappointed I feel like that's excited just, that's lame yeah you'd be excited have you ever done it though like is there a like, lake nearby no no electricity no running water middle of the woods type no but I'd like to once not in a cabin sleeping bag in woods okay tent or just sleep no tent wow yeah i think it'd be we shot and killed squirrels you ate those and we ate squirrels that was our food because i like we didn't do it for very long it'd be great to have a place like that where you can just go and detox like do a technology detox like once every six months yeah like i'm gonna go spend a week in this cabin have nothing just enjoy nature. Camera didn't have a Glade plug-in, so they found a skunk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no wonder he was alone. <laughs> the new Glade scent. <laughs> skunk I mean, spray. to be fair, I think I think probably to just backtrack a little. I remember a memory. I was at my uncle's house, and his dog ran into the woods and got hit by a skunk. And I remember like smelling that, and then also washing the dog with tomato sauce. So maybe that's like. It's like a memory thing, but I, I was for sure serious. I mean, that's great, but I would assume that's not going to be a good smell. But, like, okay. I, I mean, I yeah, don't think it's like that with bad. chocolate chip cookies, I'm going to go towards that <laughs> and eat the chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> skunk. <laughs> I smell the skunk. I, I want to walk away. <laughs> myself from the situation and run the other way. I'm just saying, give it a nice drive. You smell the skunk. You're like, ah, yeah, that's good. That's mm. a good smell. I don't want to go that way. Just, yeah. So, uh, long time ago, it was before Hannah was born, uh, I was TDY with the Air Force. We were in uh, Idaho. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving on from your conversation, Tim. I can't do it. <laughs> it's going to pop. <laughs> so, uh, we're, we're in Idaho um, on a training exercise with the German Air Force. <laughs> See, I think he made this up. The whole skunk thing he made up to see if I'd come out. I'm not going to do it. Okay, I'm not giving in to your thing. Just be like, whatever you say, Frank. The rest yeah. of the episode is to make John mad. Yeah. So we had like a four-day weekend while we were up there. Um, so Gretchen's family uh, owns a lot of land up in Montana, uh, and they have a cabin up in the mountains uh, that is – completely off the grid no electricity no running water like there's an outhouse uh so there were no skunks so i'm like <laughs> just getting discouraged so, no. well, we, we went and stayed I'm there listening. end of story <laughs> no i'm listening <laughs> i'm listening i brought this <laughs> i'm trying my best <laughs> cooper wouldn't stop laughing it's his fault <laughs> <laughs> he's over here all of a sudden he's telling the story <laughs> just like <laughs> you need some more water yeah I'm out <laughs> yeah I'm out we're okay though I was just thirsty this morning uh, uh, well <laughs> So what happened while you're in that cabin <laughs> in Montana? He <laughs> 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 doesn't remember anymore. There's yeah, I feel like clouds. No, there was there's four of us. Um, and so this was like October. It was like late in the year. Um, snow on the ground in Montana. Uh, one of the guys who went with us was like an Eagle Scout, like – grew up in the boy scouts and then like continued to volunteer and like led to boy scouts so when we decided we were going like he went to the grocery store and like got all the food that you can make like with no electricity and no like you're making this over a fire food uh planned out all of our stuff we drove up to the cabin like freezing cold outside like they have a wood burner like a wood burning stove and that's like the only way to stay warm mm -hmm. uh, so we made a fire and like stayed there for like three days and went out like uh, with a four-wheel drive truck that we had rented and went four-wheeling and lived off the grid for a few days. It was fun. That I was loved cool. it. I don't know that I could do it for an extended period of time. That's why I guess <laughs> if, there was, there was, if there's a lake nearby, then absolutely. Yeah. Like, yeah. 
Just fish. Yeah. Yeah. Just go fishing. Yeah. And whatnot. <laughs> I'm really curious how much of this part's going to be edited. <laughs> right. Out. None like, of it. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> I don't edit this at all. <laughs> oh, so gosh. we so, do camping like that though. So like, uh, like my family growing up, we would like buy food. And then when we'd camp, we'd camp three or four days. Granted, it's not like remote out in the middle of nowhere, but, I mean, we cooked only over the fire. Yeah. Like, one of the, like, we always cook ham and beans when we go camping. Yeah, it's delicious. Ham and beans over the fire. It cooks all day. Smoky. Like, but we've never done. The only thing that I did was that one time, just one night, hunted mm. the day, just hung out by the fire. It was freezing, though. But... I thought you were going to say, like, you got snowed in or something. Nope. Nope. It was, it was a fun experience. I like, guess. you planned out all the food. We were good. And then all of a sudden, we got snowed in for seven more days. Yeah. No, <laughs> no we had leftover food when we got done. And he's, like, super thrifty. Like, he went back to the store and returned, like, the extra food. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was funny. funny. But it was a good trip. We, we really enjoyed it. Cooper didn't answer, though. Well, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Like, a, when the lake. Yeah. There's okay. a lake. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. As long as there's an, a lake. Yeah. As long as there's a lake. Ooh. Rim. Rim. Uh, which of the seven wonders of the world do you want to visit the most? You look at the seven wonders. <laughs> you can zoom it in. Uh, Great Barrier there. Reef. I'll look it up. <laughs> or uh, Pyramids of the Pyramids. Pyramids Giza. of Giza. Giza. Yeah. I'm well, going, isn't I'm the, going with the reef? Isn't the what's the? Isn't there one in? Oh. India, what's the the reflection? The isn't that you know what I'm talking about? Like the giant pool that reflects the. You have the Great Pyramid of Giza. Um, you have the Colossus of Rhodes, um, which the guy built it for his wife. What was that called? Then you have the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Mm. Um, you have the Lighthouse of Alexandria, the Mausoleum of Halicarnassus, uh, Statue of Zeus at Olympia, and Temple of Artemis. Oh, yeah. so. None of them are natural. They're Dang all. Dang it. The Great Barrier Reef is not <laughs> yeah. one of them. That ought to be. But all right, I'm good on that one that one, I can't what pronounce. Am I talking about? Are you thinking of like the reflecting pool, which is at the Hanging Gardens? <laughs> yeah, probably. Maybe. I don't know. I'm, I'm still going with the pyramids. And maybe because I just watched Jumper yesterday and like his mm. spot is on the top of the Sphinx. Like he's sitting on the top of the Sphinx all That'd the time. Be cool. Like, I want man, nothing to do with all that sand. What is the lighthouse? Oh, yeah. I've never even heard of it up there. there. Oh, that's cool. What was the one? Like the Mar- Dude, Yeah, that's one. That would what be a good one. What building The is Mausoleum of Halicarnassus. Halicarnassus. Is that what you're talking about? What does it look like? It's like this big, huge... See, that looks boring to me. Yeah, but that's it's a... a like, we're just, it's, you guys go to that. We'll be at the Great Barrier Reef. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys like, enjoy this we'll other be, wonders. We're we'll, going to so the reef. I, we'll be I diving. believe what... See, cons- I'm thinking like it ought to be natural things. Great Barrier Reef, Old Faithful. Right. Like, I believe what considers them... Capitan, like uh, Stuff like that. Wonder, awesome. A wonder of the world is how did they do that in the time that it was built. Right. Yeah. Because like, like how did God make the Great Barrier Reef? Well, y- y- I mean, like, yes, but like, so like you have the Pyramid of Giza, like the sheer size of it and how smooth the stones are, like how would they have done that with the technology of the day yeah. or place. how would they have built? Is that oh, not a seven That's the wonder? Taj Mahal. It's not, yeah. is no. that not a <laughs> seven? Think Taj no, Mahal. it's a palace. Are you sure? I could have swore that was. That it's not, awesome it's not a wonder of the world. It's perfectly balanced, but. I thought it was a wonder of the world. I thought the Great Barrier Reef was, so... (laughs) Really, we we don't know anything about it. We know nothing. Gardens are really cool, too. (laughs) Yeah, the Hanging Gardens. That'd be be fun like just do a world tour but some of those like the mausoleum you're like yep i saw that like, i'm yeah. gonna to stay there for a while <laughs> and just right like, get a picture like, get a selfie like i was here yeah yeah <laughs> <Leave>. congratulations <laughs> yeah <laughs> interesting is there one that doesn't involve sand so yeah, Ang- angor wat which is not a seven seven wonder um seventh eight, they have like eight, a seven. perfectly scale model of angor wat mm-hmm. in the king's palace in thailand like, if you, like, put your camera up to it, like, right next to it and take a picture, it looks perfectly real. So I've been there. 
It's been there. <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> I don't know. That counts, is, right? Is the palace just open for anyone, or were you in there for uh, something cool? No, I wasn't there for something cool. We were just like a it, it. You pay to get in, and it's oh really? And kind of walk around and check it out. And they have like the world's largest jade Buddha, and there's a Buddhist temple in there. So like people come and like yeah, oh my gosh, worship to or worship pray and, and stuff. Pray, so cool. Yeah, it's 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 a unique little place, but it's difficult. You have to be dressed appropriately, or they don't let you in. Ah. So like women can't wear dresses or skirts. Right. But it's stinking hot in Thailand, so like Americans are all wearing dresses and skirts, so like, trying to stay cool. This and is so you have to buy like special pants. There are people outside the palace selling pants. The pants. Yeah, guys huh. can't come in in shorts. So if you go in in shorts, you have to buy the pants and put them on. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. That's this cool. is the mausoleum. Oh, well. And it's yeah, 148 feet tall. Oh, wow. wow. <clears throat> but it is, is it in sand? <laughs> is it in sand? <laughs> um, it is in Turkey. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's in <But> Turkey. <laughs> does that mean it's in sand or not? <laughs> Take it does not so answer wait, the question wait, at all. Wait, all right, so like I said, we're going to the Great How Barrier Reef. How big was that turkey? Yeah. That's all I'm asking. And you then know? Cameron's <laughs> taking a pit stop at the world's largest skunk farm. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I would say the hanging. He's also swinging one. by Taj Mahal. Yeah. Okay. Do you yeah. have you ever Adam. have you ever had Stella Artois, the beer? Yeah. That smells like a skunk. Is it? I don't well, think it does. It it's a that's a skunky beer. <laughs> It's a skunky <laughs> beer. It is. I know I like it how is. He's still trying to prove his point. <laughs> no. It's a you, good smell. You will not ever next, win this argument. Next you know time what? you drink a Stella or Trois, you know hey, I'm going to go in my sniff office. Sniff it. I'm going to get the um, Bean Boozled because there's a skunk flavored jelly bean. And you're no, going to eat it. I'm, and we're going to have you I don't think I would like it. I think you would. It's your favorite smell. I'll try like, it. It's adorable. Like, yeah, Coop's like, I like chocolate chip cookies. I want to eat them. I'm yeah, like, I, want, I like curry and garlic. I want to eat it. So this is the Hanging Gardens, and I'm pretty sure this was in uh, Uncharted. Okay, I'm going to that then. Like the video That, looks, that looks pretty, pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah, there's like a lot of plants on like there's, ruined buildings. There's plants in water. <laughs> yeah. And mm-hmm. sand. And we're not sure about the sand, about the other ones. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Turkey. It's in Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> so on the next episode, we will also have Bean Boozled skunk flavored jelly beans. Uh, I'm not eating it. Just for Cameron, because it's his favorite smell. But Bean Boozled intentionally makes it bad, though. No. It makes it skunk, it is, which is bad. It is an no. accurate, those are accurate flavors. For real. Yeah. Grass? Like, spoiled milk is disgusting. It like, is. I mean, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I ate a lot of bean boozleds over quarantine, and um, well, we're not in quarantine anymore. There's a so. there's a familiar taste. There's something they put in it in all of them. Skunk that makes it gross. No, I'm gonna point out know. that Cameron has ran the hot ones gauntlet about ten times now. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, a, taste I've and smell everything. may be a little bit off. <laughs> okay, I'm pulling one out now. You <laughs> see, this one's gonna be a novel. What makes someone a superhero? Oh, great question. Their cape, obviously. Powers used for good. No capes. <laughs> no capes. <laughs> no capes. Powers used to benefit mankind. Yeah. The end. I have mm. no idea. We're all looking to you, Cameron. I mean, uh, something philosophical here. Well... If I'm if I'm thinking, um, I think it said superhero. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I to be honest, I really enjoyed the like through quarantine the um like not all superheroes wear capes thing like talking about the medical people, um, just I mean like my wife's in the medical field, my mom's in the medical field, um. You know, I think even just people outside of that place, like walking through something, I think it's just, I think it's courageous, you know, just, just having courage, being bold, standing up for something for good, obviously. But, um, I think when we think of superheroes, we instantly think of like Marvel and DC, which is absolutely right. And, but I think we have some modern day superheroes too. So I don't know. As philosophical as, old, as philosophical as it will get. <laughs> philosophical. <old. laughs> philosophical. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I think it has to do with <coughs> probably because I mean, 
they're I would say they're if you so if we're talking about comics, they're good superheroes and bad superheroes. Mm. They're the people that let the power consume them and allow themselves to be like you know um greedy greedy or uh stuck up or things yeah. like that but then there's the ones that are selfless and do it because they know that they can use what they have to help yeah um and so i think it's all about using what we've been given to help someone else 100%. so i think that um people that have money um, that give can be superheroes. Mm-hmm. I think that um, obviously nurses, first responders, people like that, because they're giving themselves. Um, Some and, of them are even giving their lives. You yeah, know, you talk and about I mean cops, or you talk about fire, yeah. like firefighters on nine eleven. You know, but like yeah, yeah. They, I mean, they're they're think, ready to give their life. I think for it's somebody, somebody giving, else. using what they've get, been given, um, mm-hmm. and and for us, you know, that's God given um, for the good of others, selflessly. Yeah. I think that that's yep. what creates a superhero yeah but is there a difference between a hero and a superhero because you i mean you mentioned like 9 11 mm-hmm. uh you know police officers firefighters uh i mean just even yeah, com- first you know, common just, people yeah. who are running in to save people like i would say they're they're heroes i don't know that i would say they're superheroes mm. you know there's i don't know and that suggests like uh, superhuman ability, I think. When you yeah, and I would I would agree it. with that. Yeah, <laughs> or it suggests like above and beyond the expectations. Like, yeah, you know, you have your hero, and then you have the superhero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the bottom line is just like guarding, <clears throat> guarding people, protecting people for the greater good. So a superhero is defined as someone who does heroic deeds and has the ability to do them in a way that a normal person couldn't. So, I mean, yeah, it's, I, I guess, well, we, I don't know. I mean, we've taken superhero in like a, cause I mean, really, realistically a superhero is fictional. Like that doesn't exist. Um, there are people in the world that have these crazy abilities. Like, wasn't there a show? I don't remember what it was called, but they would like, this mm-hmm. guy would go visit these superhumans. I think it was called superhumans. Was it called superhumans? <clears throat> Where the guy could like withstand like the the uh what was it heat heat or was it like ice ice man it was ice man yeah yeah there's ice man yeah. um, there's a guy that like his skin was so hard or whatever like yeah he couldn't like yeah drive a nail through it or something but so those exist like people people like, like that exist stuff. with these superhuman abilities um <clears throat> but i don't know i th- i yeah it's a great area between yeah. hero and superhero but i also think we could call them superheroes as well yeah no, i've got no problem with it i agree with what you and cameron are both saying you know especially yeah. uh through the, the pandemic with our our frontline workers yeah um, yeah they're definitely doing what the normal person is not doing yeah yeah uh, and so just based on the definition that you just read you know that that does make them superheroes yeah, yeah. Uh, but i think in the context of of the modern world it's it is the superhuman powers and abilities. Yeah, and absolutely. Different. Well, I, I think I think what it allows us to do is teach children that they can be a superhero. Because, like, you think about it, it's like realistically, none of them are going to be Batman or Superman or whatever. That makes but so cool, there, right? but there are real superheroes. Right. You know, there are real people <laughs> that do things that most people can't. Yeah. And you can be that person. Yeah. You know, um, <clears throat> so it gives us the ability to say like you you can be a superhero and this is how you know yeah and at the end of the day i think there's there's the common you know the the common value between the two of them which is being selfless and 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 protecting the people or you know using what you know what you can for the better good of of the people around you yeah and i think you can have that in any profession Mm, oh absolutely you know if you're a farmer you can you can still have that you know, just growing crops and and selling what you have to sell, and then taking care of the poor and the needy with mm. with what you have left, and yeah. um, you know that that kind of <laughs> elevates you beyond what what normal people are doing. Yeah, and so yeah, nurses and doctors and police officers, firefighters, they're on the front lines every day, uh, paramedics, um, but you can still be a superhero in other professions <clears throat> um, and, and use it. So. So do you think like being 
not try to get i know it's we're lighthearted or whatever but um <clears throat> like is it as simple as just being a good steward of what you what what god's entrusted you with like because because you know you say if i'm a farmer okay well, i'm going to think about everyone else i'm going to there, there's a way that you take care of your animals you feed your animals etc that is healthy beneficial to who's getting that and so i think it's it, you know is it just I think the personally, I think the bottom line is being a good steward of, of what God's entrusted you with. And I think that yeah. is relatable to everyone. It's, right. you know, what yeah. is it your family and your job and, and just, you know, this. Yeah. Well, and I think it, I think it's, there's two parts though. Cause there's the being good steward, but then there's also like doing it with, Oh, a, absolutely. With a heart of absolutely. giving, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. you could be a good steward with what you have, but still be prideful and still, you know? Yep. So, yep. Yep. Yeah. Totally. <clears throat> Whose pole is it? Eric's, Eric's now. Nice. By the way, what I showed Cameron is oh. a little lesson that I've... See, I <laughs> learned from He-Man, even. There was a character called Stinkor, <laughs> which was a skunk, and it says Stinkor <laughs> uses his powerful scent to repel <laughs> or destroy. Well... That Cameron would be his kryptonite. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anyway. Cameron would be like, "Give me hugs." <laughs> we we all have a kryptonite. <laughs> all right, here we Most go. Most of us, Something. our kryptonite is skunk. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> oh, this one comes from Gabby Anglin. Oh yeah, she's gonna be happy. Oh. If you Don't were a it. kitchen appliance, <laughs> stove, toaster, blender, etc., what would you be? Oh, what? Gabby, <laughs> what? No, this is a great question. <laughs> no, it's I love, not. I love questions like this. If I was a kitchen appliance, what would I be? Have I'm you gonna, heard this before? Have you you've no. thought? Have you had this conversation in your house? Uh, we have conversations like this quite often. <laughs> I'm going to be a refrigerator. Usually when we're in bed and I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> That's when these questions are. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's dozing off. Yes, hey, but like hun, I don't care. Whatever you think it is, if that's, that's you it. could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's when the philosophical Gabby comes out. It's like it's I'm, about I'm tired. Appliances. I'm going to ask all these random questions. <laughs> so you do like the Harry Carey, like the Will Ferrell. Hey, hey, <laughs> <Hi! laughs> jump up! Oh, but man. I'm going to be the refrigerator. Ooh, because you're a cool guy. Because mm. <laughs> you're a cool. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron's cracking herself up. <laughs> well, I mean, oh, that's no. all this episode's with, gonna be is Cameron how, laughing. With how like uh, hot bodied I am, just like hating the heat, I wouldn't want to be an oven like that. Oh yeah, there's no, no way. way. Yeah, um, <laughs> no way. I'm trying to think of like the. <laughs> but you could go with Cameron's mindset and be like, I'm an oven because I'm so hot. <laughs> I get a lot. Maybe like a deep freezer. Because <laughs> I'm so, so I keep, cool. I keep cool. I get a lot of food. Yeah. <laughs> a kitchen appliance. You, man. Yeah, no, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> it's like you pee into people's cups. <laughs> 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 Oh, People man. rip me open and take food out of me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like <rip cage>. Oh <laughs> dear! <laughs> I really have no idea how to answer <laughs> this question. <laughs> like it's painful. Just pick one. I've got a terrible. <laughs> you don't even say. Now it. I'm thinking about the Cars universe, but appliances. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> like a brave little toaster. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Hmm. I mean, what I are what are all the kitchen appliances? What did she say? Well, you have like blender. Know, you could be like blender, slow cooker. You could be yeah. You know, it can I be a utensil? That's not appliance. an appliance. An appliance. Can okay. I be a dehydrator? So it has to have yeah, sure. just because that'd be fun. Electric, a toaster oven. Uh, you could be an air fryer. That's what I was thinking. Or a real fryer. That could be a real. Fryer. Or like a, a food processor, a juicer. Ooh, a meat packer. Juice. Meat. Oh, wait, I can't say that. <laughs> a kitchen aid. A meat packer. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> Welcome to 30 sorry. seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to lie, I totally zoned out right there and then caught it later. Coffee maker. Um, I think Yo. I would be a... Um, um, I just lost it. Sous vide. I'd be a sous vide machine. A what? A what? Sous vide. <laughs> You're just making Get crap him, up today. Get him. 
<laughs> dude, come on. Sous vide? Yeah, sous vide. Dude. Sous vide's when you no. when you uh, <laughs> vacuum spelling. you vacuum seal oh. uh, food, and then it is a a, a a a water. You cook it. You cook meat, chicken, steak, whatever, poultry, whatever. You know, all, all the goods, pork, beef, um, and then you put it into a bath of water. And it's like regular temperature and like so because it's it's a more even cook than a grill because the water forms around it and you keep that temperature there uh, and then you you cook it and you can cook it in marinades and stuff like that and then pull it out and sear it and it's good to go. <laughs> Sous vide. George Foreman. The look John is giving him. <clears throat> I wish you all could see, <laughs> but you can't at that angle. No. By the way, if you let, ever hear, let, hear me mention do I, do Cameron I to, as you know, Frank. You know what? You know what? Good answer, Cameron. Next it's question. It's because he came <laughs> to youth group. <laughs> what? I would probably be Am a I wrong? <laughs> Cameron came to youth group for the first two weeks or three weeks and told Miss Kathy and everybody else his name was Frank. So that's why that's I refer true. to him as Frank sometimes. That Ways. was mentioned this weekend on the yes. We Love You, Miss Kathy video. Yeah, that's and true. And it worked perfectly. Oh, Ooh, he got gosh. it. He oh, got wow. perfectly. Oh, the that video? video? That, no, yeah, I, that was it. That was it. She was crying after the first, Industrial like, Industrial sous vide machines. Sous vide? Never nope. heard of that in my no, life. That's not a real thing. Something that is sous vide. <laughs> yeah, look, dude. What? He what just mean? made the Wikipedia page. Yeah, I've just, just never heard now. of it. That's what yeah. I'm saying. How, yeah. do you, how have you never heard of this? Do you guys cook food? Yeah. I we cook it on like normal people. I don't bag things. Normal You're, people. Yeah, Cameron's over here. Like, I want to make a steak. Put it in a bag. Put it in this machine. Boil it in some water. Okay. I've I'm like, oh, I want to make a steak. Like that Let me throw it on a grill. Yeah, but, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but I don't have, have one. one right. Is it French? I, don't, I didn't say I had. Why do you want to be one? Is it French? It's because French, it would be it? awesome. It, it's got to be French. Cameron wants to get used once every or six months. Is it Canadian? And then is probably it sold at a yard sale. Dude, a lot of a lot of fancy places use them because when you cook a steak. You know how you cook a steak, you cook it on the grill, that you get that that rim of brown and then everything else is pink. Personally, I like mine medium rare. When you sous vide it, that pink is completely through the steak because it's such an even cook. And then you hard sear it a minute, 30 seconds on each side, ripping hot. You get your sear and you get a beautiful inside. That's the machine I'm going to be. What documentary and did you, you watch to learn this? For yeah. that? No, Tell me about the podcast that you learned this from. I didn't. Gordon Ramsay, if you're listening. Camden's? You, the <laughs> Camden's had one? Camden's did a lot of their meat that Never way. ate at Camden's. I didn't either. I saw, when I saw it, I think they were making duck is basically what it was. Yeah. Duck is super greasy. Yeah. They do duck, chicken, and then everything. that was supposed to help it out. And you no. can, like, people will do chicken, and they'll pour the, called. the marinade in it, vacuum seal it, let that sit for three hours, and then cook it in it. Looks so awesome. All right, question number two. Or for this uh, okay. cooking segment next week. What era would really you choose to. to live in if you could? Oh. What era would you Dang. live in? Twenties. Could nineteen twenties? Like Roaring Twenties? Yeah. Or twenty twenties? Roaring Twenties. Okay. Or medieval times. Yeah, I was probably medieval. Yeah, that's what I, mm. I would thoroughly enjoy the nineteen twenties, but. <clears throat> I think I would really be afraid for my life. Like, I like the concept of it, but there was a lot of crime. Yeah. A lot of uh, organized. Yeah. I guess if you don't live in a city. Or uh, you could just be a mobster. Yeah, I would enjoy that, too. Um, That'd be cool. Just I mean, the cars the and the 20s guns. was like prime cigar time. It, yeah, that's true. You know? That's true. Maybe like the 50s for me because of music and when rock and roll first started. That was yeah, like seeing some of those artists perform. and Yeah. 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 Man, I like the Roaring Twenties. I think I'm gonna go with the Roaring Twenties. Hmm. My my first thought was like Revolutionary War time, like like the birth of a nation. I really hmm. that just intrigues me. Um, but again, I would probably die. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Seventies, eighteen seventies. Lots going on. Yeah. <laughs> first year of Cannonball Jail here in Carlinville. Yeah. Like, oh, it's a year old at that point. Wait, hang on, yeah. actually. <clears throat> was Woodstock in the 80s or 70s? 70s. 60s. Was it? I 70s. thought it was the 70s. I thought the first year of Woodstock was 69. Yeah, I thought it started. Well, right yeah. Yeah. yeah, 1969 okay. is first year. One, oh, no, it was, too, it was too big the first year. They had to move it out onto the farm. 
So that would have been six, yeah, sixty nine. Yeah. Okay, well then I'll say the sixties. Er, late sixties, early seventies. Yeah. We can say that you said it, it was era, so yeah. that works. Yeah. 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 I just like it's just great music, mm-hmm. you know, Bob Dylan, people like that. I think yep. that'd be really sixty nine. Yeah. If I had to choose something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah and they yeah. they moved it out to that farm and they were like, This farmer has a field and we can come here and then there were like so many people that like completely overrun the farm. Yep. Yeah. Which I mean that's yeah. cool. Poor farmer. But well, you know. Also it wouldn't be it'd be pretty cool to do like Renaissance <clears throat> see like William Shakespeare and you know, I think there was a lot of I'm gonna wrap mine around music and entertainment is how yeah. I'm gonna do this. But like a lot of poetry, a lot of music, a lot of new exciting ideas that was that seemed pretty cool yeah well just i mean culture in general like that was really cultural at the time yeah 1920s the culture was kind of this high society Mm -hmm. um i would go back to the 1980s and invest in apple (laughs) google he's not wrong anything yeah so we're back to the future here and like let's Let's bring the Book of World series yeah. and, and head back in time. And if I went back to picks. the 50s, I could see uh, Marty McFly at 1955. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got a throw. Here we go. That's money. Oh, oh The claw. Please send us questions. Please. Yeah, we're, we're running out. When the bowl is empty, the show oh, is over. Oh, here we go. Here's another yeah. Gabby. Oh. Oh, great. More appliances. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a writing utensil, what would you oh, be? No, <laughs> lie. Is it really? It doesn't say that. Yeah, it says that. <laughs> That's such an easy one. Uh, Sharpie. No. Oh, you want to be a ultra permanent? I'm gonna be a feather. I'm gonna be a feather. A quill. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be a quill. Oh, That's got it. Going. That's two today. Eric hit it too. No, he didn't. That yes, was, he did. Uh, no, he I missed. Swear I it went down below. Rim. That was real. No. No. That's that definitely hit. I missed that one. Rim. Okay, we need your comments on the video whether we need or not slow Eric motion hit it. at this part and, and see if it and we'll see. hit it. Cameron did not hit. I mean, it. I hit Rim. it. So I, I definitely just hit it. So we will see. Okay, because I will freeze frame in. Yeah, so I'm most definitely going to be a permanent hmm. marker. <laughs> I'm James Bond. Yes, I need. So Cameron's a quill. Yeah, we're tacos. both being quills. Oh, you're both quills. Yeah. Quill. Yeah. Interesting. A quill for sure. Ink and quill. Well, I wouldn't want to be a pencil because they run out. Everything runs out. It's not true. If you're an ink pen, you could replace the ink. I feel like you would lean towards like astronaut pen. But you like oh, one of the ones that you can write upside down. Yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. Or maybe I would just be a <clears throat> like a wood engraver. You know. I'm gonna be a piece of chalk. I'm gonna be a crayon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be a hammer and chisel. I changed mine to a hammer oh, and chisel. You, you know how many people you could annoy <laughs> by being a piece of chalk? <laughs> could technically be a paintbrush? Could be a writing utensil? Yeah. For like calligraphy? Yeah. Oh, it yeah. is. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. A can of spray paint. <clears throat> All right, you're pushing it. Yeah. yeah. I'm pushing it. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a hammer and chisel over there. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I'd probably Be just Cameron, Cameron, <laughs> you do this to yourself. I'd probably just go go with a ballpoint pen, honestly. Yeah. And or Adam's like, I'll, I'll just be a big pen. <laughs> just be a big <laughs> pen. Whatever. <laughs> no, I'll be a pilot G two point zero five. Nice. Now you got to get the point three eight uh, or point five, not point zero five. Yeah. Point three eight. What are you talking? That's point three so eight funny. is ripping paper, is what that is. <laughs> ripping paper. At least it doesn't smear. Point five doesn't smear. I I seven smear point five I'm going to be the A key on a keyboard. <laughs> a. A. You're technically Space right. Space bar. A. <laughs> a. 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 Oh, okay. All right, pick a oh, question. Gabby. Wait, you, you didn't pick one, did you? I did. I'm a Sharpie. Yeah, Sharpie. Oh, you did Sharpie. pick a Sharpie. You want to be right. ultra permanent. Or you want to be an industrial Sharpie? Those can write on anything. <laughs> it's Gabby again. <laughs> okay. Gabby. <laughs> You can get right on anything. <laughs> uh, they're water. They're you can write on wet surfaces or steel. Uh, this is the last question today, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Possibly. I can't even read it. <laughs> this is from Gabby as well. Pick a number, one to ten. That's it. Okay. Five. 
Wait, do we say it out loud? Do we yeah, say pick it in a number? Head? Just oh, say it. Seven. I'm saying it in my head. No, you have to say it. Pick yep. a number. I'm, conce- I'm going with seven as well. I'm concealing it. Okay. Pick a number, one to ten. That's it. Just a number. Oh. Uh, that wasn't fun. That that's what it says. <laughs> that's what it says. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Damn. That's yeah, it. I think we need a bonus just one. A Go ahead. Go ahead. Bonus <laughs> one. My no, it's Gabby. <laughs> we, <laughs> this is the Gabby <laughs> Anglin show. Oh, I get another one. Bonus <laughs> round. If it's a Gabby question, again, that was that was too quick. We didn't hear Cameron's number though. I guess you'll never, never know. know. <laughs> In stereo, <laughs> you'll never know. <laughs> Pick a number. No. <laughs> right what now. did you say as a kid when asked, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" Oh man, rim. <laughs> you can't deny that. Rim. Hit it. I, I wasn't watching. I'm rim. Sorry. I didn't see it either. I You're never horrible. Watched. I never watched. Rim. <laughs> <laughs> you saw it. Even when I throw it, I never watch. Yeah. <laughs> right, hold on. Hold on. Rib. Hold on. Oh, that went. You by, hit it. That went by yeah. the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> remember that time? Remember that time at camp when we did the mic, uh, the uh, blindfold putt? Yeah, with Mitch putt, putt golf, <laughs> and Mitch like totally missed, and Cameron went, yeah. <laughs> like ran up and like hugged was, him yeah, and Mitchell's was, like yeah and he's like no he didn't really make it yeah, yeah. that's funny <laughs> yeah I was a youth student at that time too that was great remember that time Mitch hit Tamika in the face <laughs> oh gosh no we were always about will. that sorry I shouldn't have brought that up hopefully oh, I don't watch this what was the no. question what did you say when you were a kid when you were asked oh. what do you want to be when you grow up a tap dancer also <laughs> <laughs> What is wrong with that, man? Can, can a man not have a dream? Can a man not have a dream in this place? You know? Come on. Can a man not have a dream? I was not expecting that. I just, I just wanted to be a tap dancer, okay? Let me just say, I'm so glad we got this bonus question. <laughs> Dude, it is so cool watching those people go just... I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I wanted to be a firefighter or an astronaut. <laughs> so anticlimactic. I wanted to be a police officer. Cat <clears throat> that, that dancing police officer. <laughs> I'm just gonna come right at him. <clears throat> I think it depends on when you when you ask me. I can't really remember like a a real little little kid one because I think everybody wants to be like a firefighter and astronaut. Like when you're real <laughs> tab <Not> dancer, Cameron. <laughs> tab dancing astronaut, <laughs> kind of <laughs> just gets on really the ISS well. and just like <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like one tap and he floats away. <laughs> And the rest is just me flailing my legs in air. Oh, uh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Um, but one of the first ones I ever remember is, like, marine biologist. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, and I'm sure at some point I wanted to be, like, a professional drummer. I'm sure that was. Yeah. Because most people would think, like, you know, touring musician yeah. or whatever. But, no, it was <laughs> yeah. the original dream, man. I was going to work with, you know. Swim with the dolphins. Hmm. So, Cameron. Yes. When did you give up on your dream? Um, and why? It just never happened. Never got the tap tap dancing classes. Can we all pitch in and get Cameron tap, <laughs> tap dancing lessons? I don't think I need to do tap <laughs> dancing. No. Arrange that. <laughs> we can't. There is a dance studio in town. There's multiple There's dance studios. And <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Tecla and Kennedy chat. go to one. <laughs> all right. Do an adult section of the concert of tap dancing will Done. you guys do it with me tap done dance. i'll do it with you no it wasn't my dream no. <laughs> <laughs> i'll do it with you you know what oh, let's put it on wheel unfortunate <laughs> take tap dance dancing lessons okay and then if someone gets it they have to do it all right okay. so, sorry Eric. <laughs> but if you guys pay for me i will take the class and i'll do a rendition on staff chat if you want <laughs> get up on the table and then <laughs> Uh, no, you don't want to see me tap dance. I'm but call- that was serious. I, I, I mean, I, I did get one. their number. I'm gonna call them and see how much lessons cost. Oh yeah, it's happening. All right. I did. I did want to be a. Tap what dancer. what night works for you? Oh jeez. Tuesdays and Thursdays are like my only nights. I don't have something going on. Perfect. Other than that, it's life groups and youth and whatever. It could be a middle school boys small group night. 
to watch Cameron at his tap tap dancing lessons. That'd be cool. We could also make a documentary <laughs> and watch him fail. <laughs> <laughs> watch him become awesome. That could be true. And then I'm just a professional. He might very well be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. I doubt it, though. Thank you all for uh, watching or listening to Staff Chat. Um, again, you can find us on Apple Podcasts or on YouTube and uh, send us some questions. We please, would love to have more questions. Please Not tap, from Gabby. tap in with your questions. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say it. No more questions from Gabby. I'm yeah, sorry. I'm sure there'll no. be more. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure there will be more. Cheers. See you guys on the next one. You don't have anything left, do you? No, I got some left. Oh, yay. Well, you didn't drink it. Tap dancer, really? I do, yeah. Wow. Always wanted to be a tap dancer. <clears throat> it was cool.